All right. <clears throat> Hi guys, welcome to Dobbins Gaming. This is Kaylee. Thanks so much for tuning in. There's a terrible glare. Why is it doing that? Move a little bit this way. That way. There we go. Anyways. Sorry, camera malfunction. But, um... Anyways, welcome to Davin's Gaming. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we are back with Dragon Quest VIII, and we just made it back to the castle. And I'd really like to start exploring, but since it's nighttime, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, go to an inn. Blah, 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 blah. There it is. The late queen was a beautiful and intelligent woman. The people of Ascanthia were genuinely sad to see her go. It's not just because of the king's orders. Oh. Uh, hey! Sorry, my dogs were going crazy there. If someone I love died, I'd want to die too. Otherwise, how would I get to see them again? That is depressing for a little girl. Very depressing. Um, oh, you. Welcome to the end. You must exhaust this late hour. There'll be 40 gold coins. Yeah, why not? Turned into a man. The king and queen often used to sit and talk in the park in front of our inn. They were such a wonderful couple, so good together. Well, I hate to tell you all this, but death is a natural part of life. Unless it was an immature death. Wow, you guys are wonderful. You know what? I don't know if I need any of that, so I'm just gonna. Yeah. Alright, now we'll go check out the weapon shop, and then we will head to the castle. I'd like that sword, but it's a little too expensive. Have I heard of a jester called Dolmagus? Huh, a 
As if a jester would come to a gloomy old place like this. Look around you. Everyone here is dressed in black. If a jester had been here, he'd have stood out like a sore thumb. Hi, doggy. You're so cute. I don't know, I guess I'll head to the castle then? Excuse me. This is a Scanthia castle, but whatever brings you here to our kingdom? You know, I don't have a clue. The audience chamber is just upstairs, but if you've come to see the king, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. The minister deals with visitors nowadays. Alright, I guess I'll talk to the minister. Maybe he can tell he did maybe he can tell me what to do. Ah, oh, it's most unusual for us to have visitors here. Welcome to Escanthia. Regrettably, you find us in mourning for our late queen, so the king is presently unavailable. I'm afraid I must request that you leave. Do you guys have anything important to add to this? Cute womanizer. The king's chamber is just upstairs. Yeah, I'm just gonna waltz up there. Don't don't try to stop me. Are you feeling all right, Your Majesty? It's me, Emmer, the maid. See you haven't eaten any of the lunch I brought you, Your Majesty. I'll be sure to bring you your favorite for supper. Please, Your Majesty. Please answer me. I just want to make sure you're all right. Very well. We leave you in peace. Excuse me. What a sweet girl. <clears throat> Yeah, so I probably can't go in there. I guess I should go find Emma, probably? Talk to her? She seems important. Wasn't she the granddaughter of those two nice old elderly people that I met in wherever? He's hardly eating a thing either. And I could hear him weeping all through the night yesterday. He was such a benevolent and wise king when the queen was still alive. I'm terribly sorry I'm of so little use to him. I see. So it continues. It must be difficult for you, Emma. But I need you to keep trying. If the king cannot recover from this, the country will fall apart. Yes, I discuss those kind of problems with my country in front of strangers from another country. You're lucky that I don't want to destroy your kingdom. I just don't know what to suggest. Ah, hello there. Do you seek an audience with the King of Ascanther? I'm afraid his majesty has been unavailable to visitors since the period of mourning for the late queen began. Two years ago. Two years ago? He comes down to the royal suite every night, but I doubt that he'll grant you an audience. I realize that that must seem strange to you, but if you return after dark, you'll see for yourselves. So I gotta go back to sleep? Ugh. I am curious, though, so I will do as you ask. Oh my god, 
so many floors to this place. How does anyone ever figure out where they're going? I think it's ridiculous that they charge 40 for staying overnight and for um, resting until evening. I feel like resting until evening should be just 20. Why? Why did you have to go to heaven and leave me all alone, my dear Sasha? It's been two long years. Time stopped for me when you left. I'm sure my heart died with you. Just one more time, even in my dreams. If only I could just see you one more time. Um, okay. <clears throat> what am I supposed to do now? Help me, guys. That's what you said earlier. You guys suck. Okay, I saw him. <clears throat> I saw him. He was all depressed. Can I get into his little room now that he's not there? I can. All right. Nice bed. Do you mean he's literally stuck? It, he s stays in here all day. It's boring. It's drab, it's small, it's dark, depressing. There's nothing to do here. What a waste of my time. Maybe I need to find that Emma girl again. Oh, never mind. Oh, hey, there she is. Oh. Did you meet with his majesty in the royal suite? I did. He didn't say much. I must explain. The king is refusing to speak with anyone at present. Please forgive him if he caused offense. You see, he's never been quite the same since Queen Sasha died two years ago. Yes, but he needs to man up and rule his country as a responsibility. If only it were possible to meet with those who've passed away. Oh, it would mean the world to the king if he could see his queen once more. You know, my grandmother used to tell me lots of stories when I was small. Lots of very strange stories. I'm sure there was one about a way to make any wish come true. No, oh, it's no good though. I just can't remember it. So I gotta go back to your grandma's house. I'm sure she'd be happy to tell me if I went to see her, but I'm so busy with work here at the castle. I'm afraid I must ask you a favor. I'd like you to go and see my grandmother. She lives in a house west of here, next to a bridge. Could you ask her to tell you the old story about how to make wishes come true? 
Maybe it's just a fairy tale, but if there's any chance it might be true, then I have to try and help the king. I wish I could go and ask her myself, but there's so much to do here at the castle, and I, I can't leave him on his own. I'm really counting on your help. My grandmother lives west of Ascanther, in a house next to a bridge. I pray at church every day that the king will be happy again. Please, help me to help him. <clears throat> How many chimera, chimera, ch chimera wings do I have? Just one? Well, I don't want to set out at night, so I'm gonna have to sleep again. This Let's Play has been nothing but me sleeping the entire time. And then I'll buy another Camaro Wing and see if I can just teleport there and... All that good jazz. What a dutiful maid, worrying about her master so. I am impressed. You're so weird, Trode. A faithful retainer like her is a most precious treasure to a king. And you say she's about the same age as my dear Medea? Very well. Now this is an order. I want you to help this maid with her request. I beg your pardon? A detour? Well, if you get onto it quickly, it won't be a problem, will it? Off we go. We must lend a hand to this delightful maid of yours. Trode has to be one of the weirdest people that I have ever, ever met. Alright, let's see if we can just teleport there, because I don't want to walk that whole entire way. Nope. Well, never mind. We're walking.
Sometimes I wonder, or I wish, that the cows in this game were like the cows in uh, Ocarina of Time, where you could just play your uh, ocarina and they'd give you milk and it would heal your health, but I don't think it's gonna work in this game. I cannot for the life of me remember how far away this place is. So... We will see. Jessica leveled up. I might get her that staff when we get back to Escanthia. A mum? You know, I will say one thing that I really, really like about this game is that, um... Like, the subtlety of it. Um... Like, you're in a totally different region, right? A new kingdom. And, uh, you'd think it, the easy way out would just make all the outside traveling areas look the same. Especially with a game this old, but, um, like, the grass is subtly a little darker, or it overgrows the path a little bit. The dirt's just a tad darker. It's really very, um, impressive, and I'm glad that they did that.
I'm so glad to have all four of them now. Angela, you walked out of that battle unscathed, buddy. Okay, we're here. All right. Tell me the story, old lady. Have you by any chance come here looking for the mysterious legendary peak? Well, I found a strange old ruin at the top of the big hill upstream, but it was a bit of a letdown, really. It was just a crumbling old wall, nothing more, so I came straight back down again. All that trouble I went to, climbing up there and worrying that there might be a monster waiting for me around every corner. What a waste of time. All right. If you go around the back of the house and follow the river downstream a while, you'll come to a path down to the embankment. Once you're down there, turn around and head upstream. They say there's a cave somewhere over in that direction. The people around these parts don't go in their mind. Apparently there's nothing on the other side of the cave but a boring old hill with a nice view. Yes, that's right. Emma's my granddaughter. I'm getting on a bit now, you see, so I know all the old Escanthia folk tales. Let's see. An old story about making wishes come true. That must be the story of the strange hill upstream of here. It's said that if you go there on the night of a full moon and wait quietly at n all night, a door to another world will open. It's probably just a silly old fairy tale, though. I'm afraid I can't tell you whether it's true or not. It gets so cold and spooky up there, you see. I'll never know anyone willing to stay the whole night to find out. Ha ha ha. Well, that looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. Yay. How can you tell when it's the night of the full moon, though? That was fun. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to end the episode there. Um... And we will start the adventure to the hill next time. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please like it. And um, if you could, please subscribe to the channel. That would be really awesome of you. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.